Hello everybody, this is the Retro Bear with a completely different video to what I usually do. And I thought I've got a quick few minutes in between recording a couple of episodes that I'm going to go on my channel this week. And I thought, you know what, I'll just do something a bit different because, quite frankly, um, there's a lot of gaming on this channel. And there's a bit of other stuff. And to be honest with you, I want to do a bit more of the other stuff, which is great. So I thought, what shall I do now? Let's talk about the upcoming Super Bowl this weekend. Because uh, anybody who watches this channel regularly knows I'm a big American football fan. I've been for many, many years, even when it first started on Channel 4, back in the early days of the 1980s. And my dad used to sit there, because we couldn't get Channel 4 in our area. My dad used to sit there with a black and white portable on the floor, with a television tuned to Channel 4, what he thought was Channel 4, because he could hear the sound, but he couldn't see the pictures. And he'd sit there listening to that. We used to, why I don't know, pretty explains a lot of things in, that happened in my life. To be fair, but we always used to listen to the old Armed Forces radio broadcast on a Sunday night. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, um, in those days when radios were made, it was something like an FM thing. Which was very, very, very few radio stations had FM. There was the old medium wave, and there was long wave. And somewhere on medium wave, somewhere between sort of where Radio One was, 10:53, I think it was back in the day. I think it's one of the Radio 5 signals now. Uh, there used to be, on a Sunday night, a very weak signal used to come in, depending on what the weather was like, and it was Armed Forces Radio, and they always used to have, on Sunday nights, American football live over the radio. So you could sit there and listen, and I used to lie in bed, sort of sit there, and the signal would sort of wave in and wave out. And those are the people who, who know what I'm talking about, will, will, will fully appreciate that. Some nights you get a clear as a bell signal, no problem at all. Other nights you go it, and you always guarantee, every time they were going around the scores and, and letting them go to other games, the signal would drop out, and then by the time they finished school, they'd come back in again. It was really, really strange. But also, I could go to school the next day and tell people what the scores were from the game because in those days, we were watching Channel 4 because American football was quite big in the mid-80s and a lot of people at school used to be at it with. And I used to go in with the scores of the games the f of that Sunday but of course, Channel 4 wouldn't show until next week and people said, oh, have you got these results? They're not until next week. I said, well, I've listened to it on the radio. Oh, you can't do that. So a lot of people I used to know sort of tuned in with the radio as well. So anyway... Love affair with the American football started there. Cozy nights under the blankets listening to um, football until I fell asleep. Great stuff. Anyway, so we've got the Super Bowl this weekend. And um, it's been a funny old season, hasn't it? I, mean, I don't know if any of you watched the college football as well. That's been a strange old season. Um, getting to the end of that with not many teams managed to complete a full schedule. Some of them were able to complete a full schedule. Um, and of course a bit of a blowout the championship game it's always nice to find a, a nice close championship game at the end of it but uh, yeah no doubt about it Alabama were the best team out of college this year they were, got a full slate in and they completely dominated I honestly thought a higher state might give them a close game but it didn't anyway that's in the book that's all done now we're now talking about the professionals we're now talking about the, the you know the, the, the big one the Super Bowl and this year we've got Tampa Bay and we've got Kansas City now Tampa Bay haven't been in the Super Bowl for a very very long time first time they've made the playoffs in a number of years this year backed by of course the um, throwing skills of Tom Brady who most of you may remember played in the New England Patriots so many years well first year now out of New England he's now playing in uh, Tampa Bay he's guided them to the playoffs He's had a strange old season. A very, very strange championship game against Green Bay. I mean, he wasn't at his best. He threw uh, three interceptions on three consecutive possessions, which has never happened before. Or if it has, it's been a very long, long time ago. But you know, with a back with an explosive offense, with a lot of good receivers, a good running uh, back. I think the acquisition of Leonard Fournette halfway through the season was a, was a brilliant move on Bruce Arians' part to try and bolster that up. I and mean, you've got people like Mike Evans and Gronkowski in your receiving cores, and you've got a pretty well built and well structured defence you've got yourself half a chance and I don't think, I wasn't surprised when they beat Green Bay in the championship game uh, I, expect them ro I expect them to roll over Washington in the wild card, that didn't happen, I think we were all, everybody was a little bit surprised by that um, probably looked like on paper the biggest blowout of the weekend but Washington gave them a very very good game um, no such trouble in the uh, divisional round then to get through to the, the, the championship game and, and I thought they were in complete control that game against Green Bay I, okay Aaron Rodgers sort of sparked a little bit of life in the second half but now once they went 28-10 up right at the start of the third quarter I thought that's it there is no way back here for Green Bay so interesting to see them get through and on the other side of the coin you've got the Kansas City Chiefs I mean let's be fair steamrolled everybody this year uh, they haven't really looked in any trouble even when they went 9 points down against Buffalo in the championship game you never sort of felt for a second that Buffalo were on course for an upset here because they just couldn't get anything going on on the offensive side of the ball and it's a real shame because I think that game could have been a lot closer I was expecting a real close game because Buffalo had a great season you know, Josh Allen's really coming as a quarterback he had a fantastic fantastic season this year been in 
watching him all the way through. I managed to watch a couple of the Buffalo games uh, through the playoffs. And I thought, yeah, he's going to be really good. If he gets the championship game against uh, Kansas City, it'll be really good. But they weren't. They were slightly disappointing. And what can you say about the Chiefs? I mean, you know, it's not the greatest ranked defence in the world, but it, it does its job. And the problem is they're not scared. You know, if you think about last year's playoffs, when they went behind in the divisional round, they went down in the walk, uh, the, the, the championship game round, and they went down in the Super Bowl by multiple points, not just talking a few points, multiple points. At no point was there any panic, you could see any panic in that team whatsoever, because they knew they had the weapons on the offensive side of the ball, on the ground and through the air, to wipe out any deficit quickly. And that's exactly what they, they've done, and that's exactly what they did against Buffalo in the championship game. And even if Patrick Mahomes isn't fit, he's got turf toe or whatever he's got, or he's had a slight concussion he's still the most dangerous player in the NFL he, he could turn a game just like that you've got this running game which uh, Edwards Hilaire has had a fantastic introduction I watched him very first week against uh, Houston he was brilliant then he was brilliant at college and again you know Tyreek Hill um, what a great receiver he is uh, Travis Kels you know they've got so many weapons they can use Um it could be interesting, and I think it's going to ball down to how much Tampa Bay's defence can stop the offence of Kansas City. They can shut them down one way or another, like San Francisco did in the Super Bowl last year. Because when that game started, Kansas City came out all guns for him. Then the 49ers found their feet and managed to sort of shut down the offence. If they can do that, and it was, don't forget in that Super Bowl last year, it was Kansas City's defence which saved... Um, we stopped the 49ers and turned that game around because that offence was pretty much on its last legs it was beginning to sort of stall every single time they came out so if Tampa Bay can stop the offence of Kansas City I think they've got a chance otherwise I think they're probably not going to pip them I think Kansas City will retain the Super Bowl trophy this year be interesting to find out if you've got telly which I'm sure some of you have um, I think it's on the BBC again this year on very very late at night but you know if you've got access to a, a PVR record it see what you think it's a great introduction to NFL they do a really good job on the BBC they do explain things as they go along and it's not like a you know dumbed down coverage but it's really really good if there's an American football go and watch it it's really exciting um, yeah I've just somebody who watched American football that's my opinion and uh, there we go I thought it's been a bit different anyway be nice to talk about the 49ers of the Super Bowl I missed that opportunity last year I could have done that couldn't I this time last year I was like uh, can't believe it but anyway, until we go, don't forget Super Bowl this Sunday. I think it's about 11.20 on BBC One at night. So I'll be taking the day off work next week to watch it on Sunday night before I go in. Um, but if you get a chance to watch it, I would certainly do so. It's worthwhile. And uh, I'll probably preach some. There'll be highlights on the NFL website the following day, about 10, 15 minute highlights of the game. If you can't stay up and watch it, it'll be really good to go. Those are my opinions. I hope you, you may disagree with them. You may agree with them. I don't know. You might think I'm talking a load of old rubbish. It's my channel. I shall talk rubbish on my channel if I, if I feel the need to do so anyway. Hope you enjoyed that. Until the next time, this is the Retro Bear saying, take it easy and bye for now.